let me show you this case that show you the amazing power that we can achieve uh, combining uh, eyeliners and screws to solve a severe class two in a really predictable way. You know, I'm really amazed about the results that every day I can achieve in my cases with the combination with these infrastructure cross screws and, and aligners. So you can see uh, this woman, when she came, she came complaining about her narrow smile. She, she was dreaming for a beautiful smile. And when she came to the office, we found that situation. Well, uh, a case presenting a severe uh, crowding, also severe class two in both sides. Uh, something difficult to manage in this case was the, the, the small size of the, of the lateral incisors. Uh, and as you can see here, she, she presented the really narrow upper arch with some crowding in the lower, okay, and severe class two in both sides, okay. If we check the the torque and the angulation of the different uh, teeth in the upper and lower arch, you can see how uh, we have a negative torque starting from the cannons and more torque in premola. So we have a really narrow upper arch and and trying to bite with the upper, the lower are also inclined to inside, okay? So that's why we have to check the torque of the teeth before deciding what is the protocol that we have to, to, to use. And this negative torque is what is giving us this narrow arc with these buccal corridors that we have here, okay? So the first thing that we have to think is to analyze when that we have this narrow arch and we are going to change to something more parabolic. So we are going to increase uh, a lot the transversal dimension that is going to be mandatory in order to allow the mandible after that to adapt to in a class one. Okay, you can see here that we have the wisdom teeth in the mouth. And now the protocol that I'm going to use is I'm going to you to solve this case where what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand both arches in a coordinated way. I'm going to maintain the wisdom teeth because the protocol that I'm going to use is class two elastics and also class one elastic in the upper arch uh, using uh, um, an, uh, an elastic that is going to go from uh, an, the infrastructure crest to a cut in the upper. So the patient is going to use both. Um, class one elastic and class two elastic. Why both? Because I want effect in, in both arches. I want some distalization of all the whole upper arch. Uh, and also I want a class two elastic in order to allow the mandible to advance, okay? So these are passive attachments that I will use. Okay, I will do some IPR in the, in the, in the lower arch. This is the, as you can see here, how I'm going to maintain even I'm going to reduce the pre-inclination of the lower incisor because I need the over jet to solve the class two. Oh God, this is so important, that's why I did uh, IPR. And these are the movements that I'm going to do. As you can see, also I'm going to solve the deep bite. And the final look at here, the, the idea here is to develop the arches. And uh, you can see here, I, I, I maintain the wisdom tip because I'm not going to destroy the arch. And you can see here, the thing that I'm doing is I'm developing the arches, okay? In the middle of the dream, more or less, in the, in the time, in the moment when I'm going to start using class two elastics, okay? It will be around six on uh, the class one elastics and six on the two class two elastics. In the other side also, look at how I solve the severe. Important to do the IPR in the lower arch. It's so important to do this IPR because I want to avoid the protrusion and progression of the lower incisors because it will need the, the, the overjet to get this final result doing the, the virtual jump. Okay, how I develop the art using the wisdom teeth as anchorage. I expand and the rotate molars at the same time, giving some buckle root torque. What are the, the protocols that if you follow my word, you know the things that I do normally. In the lower eye, I will do some expansion. I write the vocal segments. With this space, I can reduce the torque of the uppers. And doing that, I can get this beautiful result where I center the midline, I solve the deep bite. Also, you can see here how I get the beautiful and the perfect class one in both sides with parabolic arches, the full mouth smile. 
in balance with the face, in balance with the lips. Fantastic, it's amazing when you, I see the results, amazing the things that we can achieve, just doing a good job. Look at the beautiful result and the full mouth smile. Okay. So we start like this, remember, severe class two in both sides, something complex to control was the, the small lateral incisors. Well, I will explain you know, the lesson how to control that and how moving from here, we got this amazing results in both arches, solving the occlusion and giving what she was doing. Look at them, look at that, look at the amazing change. So this is the thing that we can achieve with the liners, with the screws, following my protocols and following the common sense. So all this content and more, you have that in the APP in B Ortho Pro. So download it, download the lessons, watch it, watch the lessons anytime you need it, learn the protocols, apply the protocols, and you get the results that you are waiting for. Thank you very much to follow my work.